I was at my job in Bloxburg taking my lunch break when suddenly my boss appeared and started yelling at me for playing video games. My boss just said, I don't care if it's your break, it's not allowed. How out is that? make any sense. You literally just said it's my break. What if we needed you to come back early to help and you weren't paying attention because of that game? Um, I'm gonna say, well, it wouldn't matter because I'd be on my break. So you actually can't tell me to come back? She just said you need to be more of a team player and what kind of loser plays those games anyways? What? Hey! She just said you need to grow up. Okay, now she's just insulting me. What the heck? Oh, that was it. She came in here to yell at me, insult me, and then leave. So much for my peaceful lunch break. What the heck? Guys, my boss has hated me ever since I started working at this clothing store, and normally I would just quit, but I can't since I need a job in order to save up for Taylor Swift concert tickets for me and my best friend. <sighs> Honestly, this job would probably be bearable if I had a place to actually take my lunch breaks in peace. All I want to do is play video games. It's my break. I should be able to do whatever I want to relax. If only there was a way I could do that without my boss bothering me. I... Wait. Guys, I think I just got an awesome idea. Okay, guys, my break is over, and I am back at the checkout counter, and I have figured out the ultimate plan to make my boss, Kara, leave me alone during my break so I can actually play my video games in peace. But since I can't leave the store until my shift is over, I'll just have to build my own secret gaming room inside the store. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need help from my best co-worker. Oh, Maddie! Speaking of, guys, she just got here. She just said, hi, Mary. I'm just gonna say, hi. Uh, did you just clock in? Guys, I am really glad that I thought of this idea today because me and Maddie actually work together. Oh, she just said, yep. I'm going to say, okay, I need your help. All right. I'm going to say, come over here. Come over here. We have to get somewhere that we can whisper. Okay. Not close to the office. This way, this way, this way. Maddie just said, okay, sure. What's up? I'm going to whisper to her and say, I figured out a plan to make Kara leave us alone on our lunch breaks for good. But I need you to distract her and get her out of the store for a while. Maddie just said, wait, huh? Really? I'm just gonna say, I promise it'll be worth it. She said, I'd do anything for her to leave us alone. Yeah, same. Maddie just said, okay, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but I'm hyped to see what you're gonna do. I'm gonna say, it's gonna be awesome. But I can't do it with Kara in the building. So you've got to get her out of here. I'm gonna say, can you distract her long enough? Maddie just said, yes, I think I can. I'll go do that. Okay. Okay, guys, I can't start on my idea until Kara is out of the building. She just said, you go do what you need to do. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna hang out and try to act normal and see what Maddie has planned. I didn't really give her a way to distract her, but Maddie's normally pretty good at this kind of stuff. Oh, okay. She just went into her office and said, Kara said, uh, hello, do you need something? Maddie just said, can you come pick up inventory with me? I forgot how to do it. And oh, geez, Kara just said, what? Ugh, typical. Your generation is so dumb and lazy. Oh, there she goes again. Just insulting Gen Z, whatever. Kara just said, all right, I'll go with you and show you how to do the job you're paid to do. Dang, okay, Kara is not in a good mood today, but that means it is working out. There they go. I'm just gonna mind my own business. La la la. There they go. Come on, come on. I just need them to leave. Perfect. Okay. Guys, they are out of the building, and that means I can get into build mode and start building. Okay, you guys, I am in build mode right now, and I don't have a ton of time since the warehouse that Maddie and my boss are going to isn't too far away. So first, I'm going to focus on building the secret entrance for the secret game room, okay? And I think I have a perfect place to put it. I think I'm going to put it right inside this dressing room right here because the entry to the break room is right here. So if we go this way for our break, Kara won't really notice if we just slip in to the dressing room. Plus, we are always the one who clean these anyways. Kara doesn't really mess with the dressing rooms, so I think this is perfect, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get a secret hat. All right, there we go, and it blends in perfectly. Okay, you guys, it the, the pattern on the floor looks a little bit off, but I wonder if maybe I can just turn... There we go, you guys. I think that blends in pretty seamlessly, if I do say so much. Oh, no! There we go. Okay. 
now it blends in pretty seamlessly. Okay, I'm make sure to save that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just kind of um, swap the placement of this little room divider and the ottoman, okay? And then you hardly even notice it. That is perfect, I think. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, you guys. But there is the secret entrance right here. Now I just need to add a basement. And uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna make it, I don't want anything like to show outside. So I'm just gonna make it the size of the dressing room. It'll be a little small, but it's literally just for me and Maddie. So I think it might end up being totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna add some walls floor there we go all right so this square is where the entrance is so i'm going to go ahead and put a ladder actually you know what i'm going to make it a little comfortable in here because we actually have quite a bit of room i think i'm going to go ahead and add some stairs i'm just going to keep it to the spiral stairs because i think that's really cute actually right here i think that works this is going to be our break room so i want it to be really comfortable and cozy all right there we go it is a pretty small space, so I want it to feel really... Okay, there we go, you guys. Now we have white stairs and a little floor, and I'm actually going to go ahead and change the color of the walls, too. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the green. I'm not going to lie. I kind of think that that's nice. We're going to go with green. All right, there we go. Okay, you guys, I have got everything figured out so far. The secret latch is up here, and it's pretty well hidden. There's literally no way Kara's going to be able to find this. Oh, except for the stairs. Okay, I will have to... um take out the stairs and think of something else but oh wait daddy just messaged me and said we're on our way back okay okay uh oh gosh oh gosh okay i'm just gonna say uh got it guys it definitely got back a little faster than i planned but that is okay i just need to get the heck out of build mode okay 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 luckily the secret entrance is built and very very hidden so so far so good okay you guys i managed to get out of build mode and back to my position at work just in time for maddie and kara to get back oh there they are there they are and they've got all their inventory boxes oh geez oh no Kara's coming over here oh gosh she just said you don't look very busy you better not have been messing around on that little game again i'm just gonna say i was not and this time i'm not lying i swear i definitely was not playing video games Kara just said aha uh -huh, sure i'm going back to my office do your jobs and stay busy or you incompetent losers will be out of a job uh that was unnecessary. What the heck? She is so cranky today. Maddie said literally, and I had to go out and get inventory with her. So did I distract her for long enough? I'm just going to say, uh, yes, you did. But in order to finish, I need to come back at night. Okay, but I'm going to say I have a plan, though. Guys, that for me to continue building this secret gaming room, I'm going to have to figure out how to take Kara's store keys and come back at night. I mean, I know that that's probably not a great idea, but I have a pretty good plan, I think. Okay, you guys, I've just been working my shift like normal today, but it is near closing time. So that's usually when everyone has their guards down a little bit because they kind of just want to go home. And this is the perfect chance to steal the store key from my boss with the help of my boyfriend, Dylan, who should be arriving very soon. Oh, there's his car. There's his car. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to casually walk this way. La, 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 la. So that he can see where this wet floor sign is. All right, I'm just going to whisper to him and say, go time. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, no, sir. Are you okay? He just said, ow, what the heck? No, I'm not okay. I'm going to say, uh, that was uh, quite a, a fall. He said, why is the floor so wet? There we go. Dylan just said, I demand to see a manager. This is unacceptable. I'm just going to say, uh, oh, no. There's Kara. She just said, what's going on? Are you okay? Okay, guys, it seems like they are pretty occupied. So I'm just going to make my way this way. She just said, I'm so sorry, sir. And Dylan said, I think I broke something. Oh, okay. Okay, that should distract her for a while. And now it is time to steal her key. Two. Okay, guys, Dylan is doing a really good job causing a scene, but he is kind of acting like a Karen. So, all right, let's see. Everything looks pretty normal, guys. She doesn't even have anything out on her desk. What the heck? Where does she keep the store keys? Oh, oh wait, oh my gosh. Guys, guys, look, I found them. I found them back here. Here we go, here we go. Got them. Okay, I'm just going to run out 
I'm going to set these down right over here. Okay, okay, now I just have to go over here and act like everything is fine. Oh, Dylan just said, you know what? It's fine. Wait, huh? Really? Dylan just said, yeah, the pain is gone all of a sudden. Oh, <laughs> okay. Kara just said, okay, great. Oh, there he goes. Okay, perfect, guys. Dylan made it out of here and I got the key, so now all I have to do is come back later tonight. Oh, uh-oh. Kara just said, you, mop up the floor. Uh, got it. Honestly, you guys, it could have been a lot worse. Okay, you guys, I am pulling up to my clothing store that I work at right now. Okay, I'm gonna put my car right back there. Okay, I still have the keys. So now I can continue working on my secret gaming room. I should be able to finish this though without getting caught, okay? Normally, nobody is even over here. All the lights are off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in build mode all right here we go guys so because this is a break room just as much as a gaming room i want it to be comfortable but i do need some essentials so i am actually going to make a little little divided off area over here just to do a little bathroom it doesn't even have a shower or anything just like a little toilet a sink stuff like that i think i'm just going to block this side off right here and paint it so everything matches okay i'm just gonna put the toilet right over here okay i'm also gonna add a little mirror in here there we go and really the only thing we need in the bathroom is like maybe some soap so we'll just get a little soap dispenser oh and a little towel perfect okay we're definitely gonna need perfect right there okay now we just have a little bathroom that's actually so cute okay we've got that now the other thing that we're gonna need in here is we're gonna need a little not necessarily a full kitchen, but like a little snack area. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some counters. And let's see, they can be pretty plain. Go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna make it almost like a little corner. I don't even think we need three whole counters. We can just have like a little indent right here. Do cabinets right there. And I honestly think that that works. Get a little coffee pot, because it is for break. So definitely gonna need coffee. There we go. And honestly, I don't even know if we're gonna need a whole like actual stove top, but I'm gonna put one there anyways, just in case, cause you never really know. Okay, you guys, this is like the only refrigerator I can seem to find, but they're all so big. I don't think the refrigerator's gonna work. So I may just have to let Maddie know that if we wanna eat down here, we're gonna have to bring our own lunch and just be able to use the microwave. And honestly, I think that's fine. It's just for our lunch breaks anyway. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put a little candy bowl too because this is our lunch break. We can eat candy if we want to. All right, there we go. So now I'm just going to paint everything so that it matches. I think for these, I'm going to do right. Actually for these, I'm gonna change this to match this color of the floor, I think. And then change the material. There, now it will kind of match. I think I'm also going to change the countertop. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty cute, right? Yeah, I dig it, okay. All right, guys, now that I have got the bathroom settled, I've got the kitchen settled, now I can actually start doing the gaming room part, all right? I'm just gonna put a big, little cozy couch. Actually, you know what I think would be so fun? It's just for me and Maddie, so what if I just added two little hanging chairs? I think that is so fun, and then I'm going to go ahead and I've done this before, but I'm going to get some little beams and make a little makeshift uh, separation wall. There we go. I'm gonna move the chairs over just a little bit. Okay, perfect, guys. I think that is so cute. Okay, so now when you drop down, there's a little divider. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. I don't know, I just like how this looks. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it pink. So everything in here is kind of like pink and green. I don't know, I think that's really cute. So cute, so cute. Dude, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay, now we need a little coffee table. Okay, I'm gonna put this coffee table right here in the middle. And we're obviously going to need a big TV so that we can play our video games whenever we want for as long as we want on our breaks. And I'm actually going, I think I'm gonna put two TVs in case Maddie and I wanna play two different games. So we get to do that because it's our gaming room. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to get a rug so that when we walk around, we want it to be really quiet, you guys, okay? Because if we're down here and we start making too much noise, then our boss is totally going to know that something is up. Remove this, let it put the rug there. All right, 
I'm actually gonna put it right here so it's also in front of the bathroom. And I'm just going to paint it white with the outside being green. All right, and now for the gaming area, I'm gonna need lots of speakers. And we obviously, oh, we're gonna definitely need a clock because otherwise, how would we know when our break is gonna be up? We definitely don't want to get caught down here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some custom little game consoles. Guys, I'm just going to make a really small Nintendo Switch because that is what Maddie and I play on most of the time anyways. And it doesn't take up much room at all. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Oh, almost. Okay, now we've got it. All right, we've got the Switch over there. We've got the two TVs. We've got speakers. And now the part that is going to bring everything together, I'm going to go ahead and add the lights. So we're just going to go to lighting. And this is the part that's going to make everything so fun. I'm going to get a lava lamp. Obviously, we're going to need a little candle. Which that candle, we're going to get this little tiny one. There we go. And I know that I could do the LED lights, but I kind of love these little heart lights. And I think they really match the vibe of everything. All right, now I'm going to change the color of some of these lights because I want everything to be pink and matching. Okay, let's see. I'm going to change this to maybe like a darker purple so it stands out some more. Honestly, guys, I kind of like the blue. Okay, there we go, you guys. I have got the little chairs all set up. I'm actually going to change these pillows now that everything's pink. I don't know. I think I kind of want things to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to change a couple of these colors. And I think I'm going to change the color of these walls also to purple, guys. Okay, I know that that is definitely different from what it originally was. But I think that that is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, there we go. We've got our little game console. We've got two TVs. All right, it is finally done, which means tomorrow during my shift, I am able to actually test it out. Okay, but first, I need to get the heck out of here. Okay, you guys, it's the next day and Maddie and I are both back at work and it is almost time for our break. I am so excited. Maddie just whispered to me and said, so is it ready? I'm just gonna say, yep. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And guys, there's the timer. It is time for our break. I'm just gonna put in chat, uh, going on my break. And Maddie just said, going on a break. Okay, I'm just gonna whisper to her and I'm gonna say, follow me. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, guys. Go in to the dressing room. She just said, so where is it? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Opening up the hatch and jumping down. Come on, come on, come on, Maddie. I just have to go up here and shut the hatch. There we go, perfect. <laughs> okay, look at this. She just said, oh, she's so cute. We have two little chairs that we can sit in so we can play our games together. We have two separate TVs. I'm gonna say, and look, we even have a bathroom. Maddie said, I can't believe we actually made this. We can actually take our breaks down here. Isn't this so cool? I say, and no boss to bother us. We can actually enjoy our lunch break. Oh, wait, speaking of our boss. Oh my gosh, there's Kara. She just said, oh, losers, where are you? Okay, guys, she is looking for us. Maddie just said, uh-oh, I'm gonna say, don't worry. I secretly put in cameras. Guys, I went back and I added a little computer so that I can view all the security cameras. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh my gosh, she's in the break room. She just said, taking a break at the same time? What's wrong with this generation? Don't they know there's work to do? Oh my gosh, okay. She just said, where are those little losers? Hiding. Okay, I'm gonna whisper to Maddie. I'm gonna say she can't find us. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is working perfectly. Holy cow. She said, ugh, I guess they went out for lunch today. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna whisper to Maddie. Maddie just said, you're an actual genius, Carrie. I'm gonna say, I know. Oh my gosh, guys. She doesn't suspect we're actually hiding. And wait, why does she look sad? She just said, I'm all alone again. Wait, what the? No one to yell at alone oh no is that why she yells at us because she's just lonely okay guys i'm not gonna lie that is pretty sad but we're on our break so uh no time to, to worry about that right now right now it's time to play video games 